Unlock productivity with Stoicism Ancient Wisdom for Modern Focus. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the ancient philosophy of Stoicism and how it can help you master productivity and focus in our modern world. This isn't some dry, dusty philosophy textbook. Stoicism is a set of practical tools for living a better life, and it's more relevant now than ever. With its emphasis on self-discipline, clear thinking and emotional control, Stoicism offers a unique approach to time management and personal productivity. Over the next few minutes, we'll explore core Stoic principles and how you can apply them to your daily life, helping you conquer your to-do list and find a sense of calm in the midst of chaos. Focus on what you can control. The Stoics had a brilliant way of simplifying the complexities of life. They divided everything into two categories, what we can control and what we can't. Think about how much mental energy you waste on things outside your control, like the weather, the stock market, or what other people think of you. It's exhausting, isn't it? Now imagine letting go of that work. What if, instead, you focused your energy solely on what you control? Your actions, your thoughts, your responses. This is the heart of Stoic productivity. When you focus on what you can control, you free up tremendous mental bandwidth. You're no longer paralyzed by worry or bogged down by things you can't change. Instead, you can channel that energy into taking action, into doing the work that truly matters. This doesn't mean you become passive or indifferent to the world around you. It simply means you acknowledge the limits of your control and choose to focus your energy where it has the most impact. Think of it like archery. You can't control the wind, but you can control your aim. You can't control whether the arrow hits the bullseye every time, but you can control your technique, your practice, your focus. The Stoics understood that true freedom and productivity come not from trying to control everything, but from mastering yourself, your emotions, and your responses to the world around you. It's about accepting what you can't change and focusing your energy on what you can. Start by identifying the things you're currently stressing about. Which of those can you directly influence? Which are outside your control? Once you've made that distinction, make a conscious effort to shift your focus to the things you can control. Remember, you are not a victim of circumstances. You are an architect of your own experience. Choose to focus on what you can control and watch your productivity soar. Practice mindfulness through the present moment. In our hyper-connected world, Distractions are constantly vying for our attention. We're bombarded with notifications, emails, and an endless stream of information. It's no wonder so many of us feel scattered and overwhelmed. The Stoics, however, lived by a simple yet powerful principle. Be present. They understood that the present moment is all we truly have. The past is gone, the future is uncertain, but right now, in this very moment, lies the opportunity to act, to create, to live fully. Multitasking might seem like the key to getting more done, but it often leads to shallow work and diminished focus. When you try to do too many things at once, you end up giving each task only a fraction of your attention. The result? Mediocre output and increased stress. Instead, practice single tasking. Give each task your undivided attention. Be fully present in the moment, whether you're writing an email, having a conversation, or simply enjoying a cup of coffee. When your mind wanders, and it will, gently guide it back to the present. Don't judge yourself for getting distracted. Simply acknowledge it and return your focus to the task at hand. Think of your mind like a muscle. The more you train it to stay present, the stronger your focus becomes. With practice, you'll find it easier to resist distractions and immerse yourself in the work that matters. This doesn't mean you have to become a monk and meditate for hours each day. Start small. 
Choose one task each day and commit to giving it your full attention for a set period of time. As you get more comfortable, gradually increase the duration or the number of tasks. Remember, productivity isn't about doing more things, it's about doing the right things with focus and intention. By practicing mindfulness and embracing the power of the present moment, you unlock a level of clarity and efficiency that multitasking simply can't match. Embrace obstacles as opportunities. Life is full of surprises and not all of them are pleasant. We face setbacks, disappointments and unexpected challenges on a regular basis. It's easy to become discouraged to let these obstacles derail our progress and sap our motivation. The Stoics, however, had a different perspective. They embraced a concept known as, which translates to love of fate. This doesn't mean passively accepting everything that happens to us, but rather choosing to see the opportunity for growth and learning in every situation, even the difficult ones. Obstacles, in the Stoic view, are not roadblocks, but detours. They are opportunities to practice resilience, to develop problem-solving skills, and to emerge stronger on the other side. Think of it like this. Every obstacle you overcome, every challenge you face, becomes a stepping stone on your path to growth. It's in these moments of adversity that you discover your true strength, your resilience, your ability to adapt and overcome. The next time you encounter an obstacle, resist the urge to give in to frustration or despair. Instead, take a step back and ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? How can I use this experience to grow? Maybe a project fell through, but it taught you valuable lessons about planning and execution. Maybe you missed a deadline, but it forced you to reevaluate your priorities and time management skills. Remember, every obstacle is an opportunity in disguise. It's a chance to practice your stoic principles, to strengthen your resolve, and to emerge from the experience wiser and more capable than before. Embrace the unexpected twists and turns of life. View obstacles as opportunities for growth, and you'll find that even setbacks can propel you forward on your journey. Chapter 4. Memento. Mori time is finite, so use it wisely. We often live as if we have an unlimited supply of time. We put things off, waste hours on trivial pursuits, and allow distractions to steal our most precious resource. But the Stoics had a powerful reminder, remember death. Now, before you think this is morbid or depressing, consider this. Understanding our mortality can be incredibly motivating. It reminds us that our time is finite, that we don't have forever to pursue our dreams, to make a difference, to live a life of purpose. This awareness of death isn't meant to paralyze us with fear, but to empower us to live fully in the present moment. It encourages us to prioritize what truly matters, to eliminate distractions, and to make the most of the time we have. Ask yourself, if you knew you only had a limited amount of time left, what would you do differently? What projects would you finally tackle? What relationships would you nurture? What experiences would you prioritize? The answers to these questions reveal your true values, the things that bring meaning and purpose to your life. By aligning your actions with your values, you ensure that you're spending your precious time on what truly matters. This doesn't mean you have to quit your job and travel the world tomorrow, unless that's what truly calls to you. It's about making small but significant changes in your daily life. It's about saying no to distractions, setting clear boundaries and making time for the things that matter most. Remember, you are not guaranteed tomorrow. Live each day with intention, with purpose, with a deep appreciation for the gift of time. Chapter 5. The Power of Reflection In the relentless pace of modern life, it's easy to get caught up in the daily grind. We rush from one task to the next, 
rarely pausing to reflect on our progress, our priorities or our overall direction. The Stoics, however, understood the importance of reflection. They knew that taking time for introspection is essential for growth, self-awareness and continued improvement. It's like sharpening a sword. Regular reflection keeps our minds sharp and our actions aligned with our goals. Imagine a ship sailing across the ocean. Without a compass and regular course correction, it's easy to drift off course, to be blown about by the winds and currents. Reflection is our compass, guiding us toward our destination and helping us stay on track. Set aside time each day for reflection. This could be first thing in the morning, during your lunch break or before bed. The key is to create a regular habit of introspection. Ask yourself questions like, what went well today? What could I have done better? Am I making progress toward my goals? What adjustments do I need to make? This isn't about dwelling on mistakes or beating yourself up for shortcomings. It's about honest self-assessment, identifying areas for improvement and refining your approach. Think of it like reviewing game footage after a sporting event. You analyse your performance, identify strengths and weaknesses and make adjustments for the next game. Reflection allows us to learn from our experiences, to course correct when necessary and to ensure that we're moving in the right direction. It's a powerful tool for personal growth, productivity and living a life of intention. Chapter 6. Cultivate Discipline and Self-Control We often think of discipline as something rigid and unpleasant, something imposed upon us from the outside. But the Stoics saw discipline as a form of self-love, as a means of cultivating the inner strength and resilience we need to achieve our goals and live fulfilling lives. Discipline isn't about deprivation, it's about empowerment. It's about making choices that align with our long-term goals, even when they require effort, sacrifice or delayed gratification. Think of it like training for a marathon. It takes discipline to lace up your shoes and hit the pavement day after day, especially when it's cold, dark, or you'd rather be doing something else. But it's that discipline that allows you to cross the finish line to experience the sense of accomplishment that comes from pushing beyond your perceived limits. Start by setting small, achievable goals. Instead of trying to overhaul your entire life overnight, focus on making incremental changes. Maybe it's waking up 30 minutes earlier each day to work on a personal project or cutting back on social media use to free up time for reading. Another powerful Stoic practice is voluntary discomfort. This involves intentionally putting yourself in situations that are slightly uncomfortable, whether it's taking cold showers, fasting for a short period, or tackling a challenging task first thing in the morning. The idea behind voluntary discomfort is to build mental toughness, to train your mind to embrace challenges and resist the urge to choose the path of least resistance. Remember, discipline is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. By cultivating discipline and self-control in small ways, you develop the inner fortitude to tackle bigger challenges and achieve your goals. Chapter 7. Detach from outcomes and focus on effort. We often tie our happiness and sense of self-worth to outcomes, getting the promotion, closing the deal, achieving a certain level of success. But the Stoics understood that true fulfillment comes not from external validation, but from focusing on what we can control, our effort, our actions, our intentions. When we become overly attached to outcomes, we set ourselves up for disappointment, frustration and anxiety. We start to worry about things outside our control, which can lead to paralysis and inaction. Instead, the Stoics encourage us to shift our focus from outcomes to effort. This means pouring our energy into the task at hand, giving it our best effort, and then detaching from the results. 
Think of it like planting a seed. You can't force it to grow, but you can provide it with sunlight, water and nutrients. The rest is up to nature. The same principle applies to our work and our lives. We can control our effort, our dedication, our commitment to excellence. We can't always control the outcomes, but we can control how we approach the journey. This doesn't mean we become indifferent to success or failure. It simply means we find a sense of peace and contentment in the process itself, in knowing that we've done our best regardless of the outcome. When you detach from outcomes, you free yourself from the weight of expectation and allow yourself to fully engage in the present moment. You're no longer driven by fear of failure or the need for external validation, but by a deep sense of purpose and a commitment to doing your best work. Remember, true success lies not in the achievement itself, but in the journey, in the effort, in the growth that occurs along the way. Focus on what you can control, give it your all, and then let go of the rest. Chapter 8. Apply the dichotomy of control to your workday. Let's bring this all together and see how you can practically apply the stoic dichotomy of control to your workday, boosting your productivity and finding calm amid the chaos. Start your day by clearly defining your to-do list. Now look at each item and ask, is this within my control or outside? For example, finish presentation slides is within your control. Client loves the presentation is not fully within your control, as their reaction involves their own opinions. By making this distinction, you can approach your work more strategically. Those tasks within your control, focus your energy there. Those outside, let go of the need to micromanage or worry. When unexpected challenges arise, as they inevitably will, pause and apply the dichotomy. Is there anything can do to mitigate the issue? If so, great, take action. If not, accept it and move on. Don't waste time fretting over what you can't change, meetings running late, projects hitting snags, these are part of life. But your response to them, that's where your power lies. Instead of getting frazzled, take a breath, assess the situation through the stoic lens and act accordingly. Even during downtime, this principle applies. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media outside your control, use breaks for activities that recharge you. A quick walk, reading a few pages of a book, or simply enjoying a few moments of quiet reflection. As you go through your day, you'll notice how much mental energy is freed up when you stop trying to control the uncontrollable. This clarity allows you to focus on what matters, make better decisions and ultimately get more done with less stress. Remember, stoicism isn't about becoming emotionless robots. It's about understanding what we can and cannot influence so we can direct our energy where it truly makes a difference. Outro your stoic journey to productivity. Thank you for watching. If you found these Stoic principles helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on productivity and personal growth. Remember, implementing these principles takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself, start small and focus on making gradual progress each day. By embracing Stoicism, you can achieve more with greater peace of mind. See you in the next video.